Can these two phrases sound alike? Well, in this video, I'm going to show that they can. Most people would agree that Northern England speakers don't sound like New Zealanders. I had tunnel vision about batting, playing for Yorkshire in England. It still is something I love very much. You know, get an opportunity to, you know, to run out for 50 caps. Um, and for the All Blacks, there ain't many 50 caps. Millions of British workers now face a further pay cut and his Chancellor is handing them a tax hike. In fact, I had a very uh, brief encounter with uh, the President at a reception as part of the General Assembly uh, week. However, these two accent types have remarkably similar systems of short vowels. Let's start with the more conservative system, used by millions of speakers in the north of England. In a number of ways, this system has remained unchanged over the past 500 years, with five vowels evenly distributed towards the edge of the auditory vowel space. Using example words to illustrate these vowels, we have kit, dress, trap, lot, put, plus the colourless vowel schwa as on the end of the word comma. In the north of England, the vowel in put is also still the vowel in strut and much and run, etc. I say still because that's how it was before Shakespeare's time and before words like strut and cup and run and much split off creating a new vowel in the south. Here are some symbols that phonetics people use to indicate how these vowels sound. Symbols like these aren't always used in exactly the same way, but the key thing here is their relative positions in the vowel space. Now outside the north of England, these vowels changed over the years in various ways depending on the region and the country. And as you might expect, if we travel all the way from the north of England to New Zealand, we find that the vowels changed a lot. Or did they? You see, when they shift, vowels tend to move not individually, but in a kind of queue, maintaining social distancing, because if they get too close, they'll start being confused with one another. And if you move a set of vowels just the right amount, you can end up with an overall system like the one you started with. Except the same vowels are now being used in different words. Which is kind of the way things are with the broad accents of Northern England and New Zealand. Relative to the north of England, we can say that in broad New Zealand, the so-called front vowels in trap and dress and kit are all shifted along one full place. Lot, on the other hand, is still roughly where it started. And Strutt has, uh, well, a complicated history, which I'll talk about in a future video, but in New Zealand, it ended up here in the unoccupied area vacated by trap. And here we are. Roughly the same system of short vowels as in the north of England. But except for lot and unstressed schwa, these vowels are used in different words. Put, lot, strut, trep, dris, kit, strut, lot, trap, dress, kit, comma. And that's why this transcription can correspond to this in the north of England and this in New Zealand. Jim's crushed and begs for books. 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 Jim's crushed and begs for books.